Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I just realized I'm in an echoey room. Hopefully it won't be too bad. This is my second color and chat of the month and it is being filmed and posted on April 30th because that's how I roll. Um, I'm actually on vacation right now and I did bring some coloring. Originally this was gonna be a craft and chat because I am doing craft projects, but I'm also <laughs> trying to finish up my coloring for the month. So I have three pages I have to get done. I'm working on a buddy color that I will show you, or that I'll work on when we chat. I thought I'd just show you a few pages I've done. Which ones have I done? Oh, I did this one while I'm here. Lots of sparkle. Yeah, really like that. And oh, this is one of my favorites that I've done. Kind of a sneak peek because my finished pages are always out like a week after everybody else's. I did this girl. So I have others too, but we're just going to chat. So I am working on a buddy color with the lovely Kathy, the colorful colorist on Instagram. And we are doing this page. So normally I always do my color and chats and I'm starting. And I thought, well, maybe if I get some of it done and then we just work on finishing, whoa, while we're together. Again, I'm on location, as we'll say, um, <laughs> which really isn't anything, but um, I'm not, oh, I don't have a yellow, I'll use gold. Um, <laughs> very good at this. So, is the lighting even worthwhile? You know, I think most of us on Color and Chats, we're here just to um, mostly chat. So I'm going to just apologize if the brightness is off. We're going to make it work. So what am I doing? I've actually been here since Monday, and I'm pretty excited because I am working on vlogging this. So my friends and I, there's three other friends and I, arrived on Monday, like right around lunchtime, unpacked our stuff, which was a lot of stuff. If I just brought coloring, I could have, you know, made it in one trip. I think it took me four trips to bring in all my stuff, but you'll see all that in the vlog. And we are here through Sunday. So Sunday morning, we'll get up, pack, um, pack up our stuff, and then head home. So this is so fun. We were able to do this back in January and loved it. So my one friend that's with me, she and I are the only ones that are still working. The other two are retired. But we hardly ever use our vacation time and it worked out that we could take a full week off. It really works out well for me now that I work with my husband because he's covering my shifts. <laughs> I told him, I said, yeah, the only reason, not the only reason, but an extra perk of working with you now is I can take time off. So we have been crafting. I have been mostly, well, I've been rotating. When we did this vacation, this getaway in January, I think I made 273 cards. That's a lot of cards. So I've probably made, I don't know, I'll say to conservatively 60 to 70 cards so far. I still have a couple days left. I have done some coloring and today, like I said, I need to finish this one and I have two other pages which I need to finish just to meet my own goals. Nobody's forcing me to do those pages, but I set goals for myself every month. And at least the coloring ones, I don't want to miss. So, yeah, we're going to try and get those done. So my big challenge with this page is I'm trying not to use purple. Now, purple is my go-to. It is my favorite. But I'm trying not to use purple. We're just going to keep using um Come on, there we go, locked, okay, sorry. Um, I'm using every other color 
I can think of. And yeah, so I'll just kind of stay zoomed in here on this part. Um, so it's been just so much fun. We laugh, we're in this, um, it's a farm, very much in the middle of the country. We had a really nice rainy day, even a little bit of thunder and lightning, one of the days. And then now it's been sunny. There is, I haven't been able to get video yet of, there's a llama. I have been able to see the sheep and goat. And there's kittens, which are always nice. And what there are that is not so nice are snakes. Now, they're gardener snakes, but again, they're snakes. Um, Kim, that's my friend and I, were here and started unloading first. And she took her little wagon and was going down the sidewalk into the building first. And then I came behind her and a snake came out right in front of me on the sidewalk and then it like stopped and like looked at me like trying to look mean because it has a little den of babies in the little uh, garden plot or whatever's here by the bushes. So I'm like ah, freaking out because I'm a big wuss that way when it comes to snakes. And then it did pass on. But now on both sides of the buildings, there are um, like by the craft room, there's a snake and some babies and then at the front of the building. So I'm gonna try and get some footage, but I'm really not very excited. Um, you'll notice I'm really messy. <laughs> if you're watching, you're like, you cannot stay in the lines. So these markers I have, they're water-based, are not very good. They're this Tomaxis brand. I got them at um, Amazon and they're just, yeah, the um, nib, the brush nib frays out right away. So I have a similar brand, I think it's the Tan Mint, which it looks exactly the same, it's the same barrel, but those are much better. And I actually just did a repurchase on those. So these I do not recommend. They were honestly super cheap. I think I even wrote down, they were like five bucks or something. They weren't very expensive. But um, you get what you pay for. So I'm using them and then I'm gonna have to go back and like clean up all of my edges, which is fine. I can do that. Okay, I don't really have any good scratch. Oh, we'll do a really light yellow. So yeah, so there's snakes here, not fun. Um, and we each have our own room. It's this kind of really big place that's used as a retreat center. A lot of church groups use it. And they've got, I don't know, like 24, probably more, um, I'll call them dorm rooms, that sleep two people in each. So there's either like a queen bed or there's two twin beds. And then it's like a couple levels and um, there's only this craft work room I don't know what you want to call it a gathering room which we use as the craft room that comfortably with your crafting supplies you could probably get 10 people in there comfortably you could do more if you <laughs> limited the amount of space everyone could work in but um, and there's a full kitchen the People that run it, if you have a group of eight people, you can um, hire them to cook your meals. It's really inexpensive and it is really good food. <laughs> it's like your home cooked, yeah, stick to your ribs, real, real deal food. Since there's only four of us, we can't, or we're not taking advantage of this, but we just brought our own food and we are all, um, you just, Make your food in the kitchen. Like I said, we've got a full kitchen, so that's not a problem. And yeah, like I said, we're at the top of a hill, so we're watching, you know, wildlife out the door. It's just so peaceful, I cannot stress. So hopefully, if you're into vlogs, you will watch that when I get it posted. And 
Um, <laughs> I hope it's enjoyable. A lot of times I'm bad at vlogging because I get so, like, especially when I'm on a vacation or like now we're crafting, it's like, okay, well, I'm not gonna vlog while I'm doing my craft project, but um, I sometimes will try and remember to at least show it before and then again, finished. So the other bad part about being on vacation right now is they do have internet service here. So let's have our fingers crossed that I can actually upload this video because um, it isn't always the best. So like we have um, Pandora, I brought my, my tablet and a external speaker and we just have music playing which the Wi-Fi drops a lot, so then that's always sad. And um, I'm not worrying so much about these leaves because I'm gonna go in with it, over them with glitter gel pen. Um, yeah, just stuck my hand in something and got it all pink. I don't even know what I colored that was pink. Oh, that was these flowers, like before lunch I did those, okay. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to upload. I might have to wait until like the people that work here are gone as they're using their computers. Plus of course, then you've got four ladies. We all have our phones connected and two of the ladies have their laptops, which is fine. But so that's, if there's a downside to being here, it's just that the Wi-Fi is. And so yeah, I haven't been able to watch YouTube channels videos for over, well, for the week. And it's like the end of the month. Everybody's posting their fun stuff. I should have like gone out and like grabbed one of the cats since we're not gonna get a Gabby sighting because she is at home. The fur babies did not get to come on vacation. They've been home with their dad. I asked um, Eddie the other night when he called me from the house. Uh, I'm like, well, do the kids miss me? <laughs> he said, well, Gabby's been sitting in your chair. None of the other kids do. I said, oh, well, she's not missing me. She's missing the camera and all of her friends. But I'm sure when I'm trying to do my completed pages, once I get home, she will be oh so helpful. I thought I'm like, oh, I should bring my stuff and I could at least film it while I'm here but I didn't want to bring all the extra books. You guys know, I did not color as much as I did last month, but I still think I did pretty good because Eddie's given me a quarter a page. And last, well, I'll, when I do get my, so I'll need to film my completed pages and my April haul, which includes two books that my husband purchased for me. And by purchased, I mean, I put them in the Amazon cart and he clicked order. <laughs> That's about all we did. Um, <laughs> and really, that is fine. Oh, what color should we do on? Should I do the actual yellow yellow? Should I do a pink? Oh, I can't. oh now I'm so mad. If I can get that off. <laughs> I just smudged. I put that, put my hand down and now I got pink there. Uh, it's always a bonus. I should know not to do the glitter, the gel pen part until the end, but no, I never think that far ahead. How obnoxious is this pink? Oh, it's not horribly obnoxious. The lid cap color is obnoxious, but too late now. We're rolling with it. Um, yes, oh, and this book is on my 10 books to finish, and I have a lot of work to do in it. I made some good progress though, because there's a couple books that I'm getting pretty close, and I could space it out, you know, so I do a certain number of pages every month, so I kind of finish them all at the same time. But I've decided, I think I just wanna get a couple done on my list and then I can kick in and like focus on some of these. And when I was going through my list again, I'm like, why did I pick so many that I hadn't even started in? It's like, was my brain frozen in deep freeze winter or what? 
Um, I'm not sure. But it's a goal for myself, which means I will do everything I can to reach it. So huge thanks to Kathy <laughs> and all the other people who have been buddy coloring with me in those books because that really helps and motivates me. I want to color anyway, and whenever I do a buddy color, um, I still sometimes it can take me a bit just because of my work schedule, but I am um, at least, you know, I gotta get this done. Hence the reason we're doing this page today because um, we have to get it done. Okay, we're gonna turn this so I can try and not um, totally get myself, my hands dragged across everything. So we're gonna work pedal up. So we're gonna do some sparkle pop green. What else is fun and exciting? I didn't, I didn't write down anything ex um, specific to chat about. I was just like, I'm on vacation. Does anybody else do this kind of a thing? Like you just take, even if it's a weekend or a week off and um, go with friends to do something to just kind of, you know, recharge and focus on you. Uh, I am very fortunate that my husband is supportive of it. I think he knows how I can get a little crazy when he and I spend too much time together. And he recognizes the importance of friendships. Especially, I don't know, I think men should spend as much time with friends as well, but I do know I spend more time with girlfriends than my husband does with his guy friends. And I kind of wish he would spend more time because I just think it's so good for your mental health. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a flower, but it's a leaf or it's a green flower, whichever you want to call it. Um, and a lot of times he'll even, and I don't even think I'm being crabby or anything, but a couple of my really good friends live, I don't get to see them because they live like five to six hour drive away. So we don't get to see each other. And he'll ask me, he'll be like, um, when are you going to go see so-and-so again? <laughs> when are you going to do this? It's like, oh. Do I need to go see them? But he's kind of like, I think you need some time with Amy or Kim. And it's like, oh, okay. And he'll even like look and say, when's your next weekend off? And he'll call and make a hotel reservation and ship me off just to go hang out with some friends. So that is a good thing. We don't really do a lot of traveling or anything in the summer or even take real vacations, I guess. If we do, um, if we travel, it's usually because there's a family event, a wedding or a quinceanera or something <laughs> that we um, want to go to. And um, so I'm gonna say, I'm trying not to say um so much, but I can't think of what I was trying to say. So we'll do that for vacation. We don't, yeah, we just don't. We're not big vacationers, I guess. We would like to. We've done, like last fall, we did a trip, just he and I, to um, Colorado, which we did visit family while we were out there, but it was just the two of us, so that's pretty fun. A lot of times we travel with my in-laws. Um, oh, I just said it again. Um. <laughs> which is also fun. They're wonderful people. I think I've talked about them before. They can, you know, as wonderful as they are, can be a little trying to be, you know, in a vehicle with people for days, but they're pretty laid back. And I think that's the problem is they're so laid back. And <laughs> you know, it's bad if it, if I notice it because that will, be what Eddie complains about me is I can't make a decision. Where do you want to go to eat? Where do you want to stop? Where do you want to do this? And I was like, I don't care, whatever you want. And it drives him nuts. 
and my in-laws are the same way. So poor Eddie, if we're traveling as a foursome, has the two of them and me whenever. <laughs> the only thing we'll say is if we need to stop and use the bathroom. That one, I don't have a problem <laughs> speaking up about. So no big travel plans, even if it hadn't been for COVID. I do hope to get to Florida this year. My grandmother lives there on my mom's side and she's in her mid nineties and in a nursing home, but wonderful health. And I have an aunt and uncle that also live in the same area. And I had been able to go every month to, or every month, I wish, every year, once a year, I'd always made it a point to go down and visit. But I switched jobs, which delayed me a year. And then last year, Kim, the girl that's with me here, and I were going to Florida over my birthday. And that was right when COVID had the world in its grips. And we could have still gone, but it was all this, you might not get out because states were completely shutting down and there was just a lot of unknown yet. So we canceled our trip, which made me very sad and haven't been able to go. But now things are opened up and my grandma, and the other thing was, even if we had gone then, I couldn't have visited her because the nursing home she was in wasn't allowing visitors but they have just recently opened up to allow visitors. And one of the best things that popped up in my Facebook feed was a picture of my aunt and my grandma. And it was like, we haven't, you know, haven't been able to hug her for over a year. And those are what makes me so excited when I see that kind of thing posted on Facebook or any social media, it's like, Yes, it's working. <laughs> Things are improving. This is fabulous. So we'll see. <laughs> My only thing, and Eddie again gave me a hard time because I'm like, well, I don't know if I'll be able to go till after the end of the year because Kim works for the post office, so she cannot take off basically from Halloween on. You don't get to take time off because it's the busy season and um, I am really bad about being hot so I don't necessarily want to go pardon me had to have a drink um, in the summer and then Eddie made me feel good bad he's like really you're gonna miss the chance to see your grandma what if something happened and you didn't get to see her because you didn't want to be hot I'm like really Eddie but you have a point. So Kim and I might buck it up and go to Florida in the summer. That could be crazy. Wow, I'm actually gonna maybe finish this page. Well, maybe not the cleanup part because that's pretty boring, but I'll finish all my little dots here. It'll be a color and chat where I actually have a finished page to show you. I haven't played around with doing like the time lapse. I've done enough photo editing. I know I can do it like in the editing software, but I don't know if it's something that, um, yeah, I'm moving things around again. I've already got a pink smudge. Um, if I can do it on my phone, I just got a new phone and it's super fancy does way more than what you need it to, which is to make phone calls. And I haven't really played with the camera functionality much, but that's okay. Okay, one more turn and then we'll be done. So yeah, nothing too exciting to share with y'all. Y'all, I just, you know, I have this goal, two color and chats a month and I don't think, I think I only met it once. And then it was kind of a cheat because I did a um, tag. <laughs> Not really a cheat, but there you go. You get a sneak peek at my almost finished page. I'll have it posted on Instagram as well, probably fairly soon. I have another one to post too. So anyway, this was a pretty short 
color and chat. Just wanted to say hi, I'm on vacation. I am going to go, it's like two in the afternoon, so I'm gonna step outside and see if I can capture the um, snakes out and about, just because I think if I have to deal with them, everyone should have to. <laughs> and maybe some people like them. I grew up a country girl, but I was a city girl at heart, so I've never liked snakes and spiders and the like, but we'll see. Okay, friends, like I said, Apologize, lighting, audio, I'm in a not normal place. And this is what it is. So thank you for stopping by and hopefully you will look forward to my vlog and get to see in detail where I'm at, what I've been doing. And I can't wait until I'm back home with good Wi-Fi so I can watch everybody else's videos. Thankfully I've been able to like keep on Instagram and seeing posts there. <laughs> but okay, friends, take care of yourselves. Keep calm, pedal on. And in case nobody's told you today, remember you matter. You are beautiful, you are amazing, you are a blessing to so many people, including me. Thank you. Love you guys. See you.